At Rescue Education, we have the best explanation every time. I'm Dr. B, and I'm going to help you easily and rapidly learn organic chemistry. If you like this video, you'll love my self-help books. Learn more about them at rescueedu.com. Let's talk about the resolution, that is, the separation of enantiomers. Most often, a reaction which produces chiral products will give a racemate, that is, a one-to-one -one mixture of enantiomers. We discussed why this is the case in Section 5.3b. It's possible to use special reagents or enzymes to get one pure enantiomer, or mostly one enantiomer, but this can be both difficult and expensive. How do you get only one pure enantiomer from a racemate? You'll recall that enantiomers have identical physical properties, such as melting point and boiling point, so they can't be directly separated using regular techniques. Resolution of enantiomers, that is, separating enantiomers, usually involves temporarily turning impossible to separate enantiomers into easy to separate diastereomers. Let's look at how we would separate this racemic mixture of chiral alcohols. To do this, we react both enantiomers with a resolving agent to temporarily make a pair of diastereomers. A resolving agent is one enantiomer of a specialized chiral molecule, which can react with both molecules in the racemate. Then, we separate the diastereomers and cleave off the resolving agent. In our example, we take the racemic mixture of alcohols and react it with the resolving agent. The resolving agent is the S enantiomer only. You don't know this particular reaction, but assume it works. The resulting compounds are diastereomers of each other. We get the RS and the SS stereoisomers. Recall diastereomers are fairly different from each other and can usually be easily separated using techniques such as distillation or selective crystallization. We separate the two diastereomers. Then we cleave off the resolving agent. We are left with each enantiomer separated and in its pure form. Many resolving agents can be recycled and reused to resolve other enantiomers from each other. There are also other ways to separate enantiomers. For instance, you can put the racemic mixture onto a chiral separation column. The chiral column would have a resolving agent embedded in it. Ideally, one enantiomer of the racemate sticks to the column better than the other enantiomer does. You would selectively wash out the one that doesn't stick. Another way to separate enantiomers is to subject them to an enzyme which only reacts with one of the two enantiomers. It would then be easy to separate out the unreacted enantiomer in its pure form. If you're using my book, I encourage you to do the extra test your knowledge problems for this topic so you can be sure you really understand it. All the answers are at the back. This video is closely based on my first semester organic chemistry self-help book. My self-help books are particularly valuable in difficult learning situations, but you can also use them to get an edge or to get a head start. If you want to learn more about my books and videos, how to get the books, or my future projects, go to rescueedu.com.